All right, are we rolling? Yes, we are rolling. Hello, everyone. My name is Jesse, and I am your host and drawing instructor here on Kid Zone Art Palooza. I want to welcome all of you to my channel. Today, we are doing Mr. Peter Griffin from Family Guy, courtesy of Morgan. Morgan was on my Homer Simpson uh, drawing tutorial last week and requested that we do Peter Griffin. So Peter Griffin it is. Morgan, thank you so much for your request. I'm going to be using a number two pencil with an eraser. For those of you that are following along with me, it is important to have an eraser because you will probably be doing a little bit of erasing. The way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to draw Peter Griffin out completely and then I'll come in with an ink, pen or marker and cut and outline him. Okay. For those of you that want to skip to the outlining part, to that part where I'm actually outlining my pencil marks, I will indicate in the section below in the description where that starts. Actually, though, I would recommend that you stay with me from and watch the entire process because you'll probably benefit from watching how I approach a completely new drawing. I've never drawn Peter Griffin before. This will be the first time, so you'll be able to see me uh, do it from to him from scratch. Um, for those of you that are not that have not subscribed to the channel, please do so. Like the video as well. Hit the notifications bell icon, and if you feel that there are others that would benefit from the content on this channel, please share the YouTube channel with them. Um, also, if it is your first time here, please check out some of my other videos. I think you guys will find those uh, pretty cool as well. And then lastly, if you guys have some requests, please put them in the comments section below and you will likely see a video on that subject. Let's say there's a particular cartoon character or a type of animal or something you want to see drawn on here. Please let me know what that is and maybe I'll do it. All right, everybody, let's get ready. Mr. Peter Griffin, courtesy of Morgan, coming right up. So, number two pencil. Here we are, we got Peter Griffin in front of us. Oh, really quick side note, for those of you that are going to be, that want to skip ahead, I'm gonna draw him first, and then I'll come in and outline my drawing in black pen, all right, black marker. So you can see what I've done, make it a little easier for you to see what I've done. If, uh, if you guys want to skip ahead to that part in the description below, I'm going to indicate where that indicate where that starts. I recommend though, those of you that are, that are really new to drawing, those of you that don't have much experience with drawing, struggle with drawing, watch this from the very beginning so that you can maybe learn the, some of the process, at least how I do it. And, uh, you know, you can incorporate this when you approach things that you've never drawn before. Once again, this is the first time I've ever drawn Peter Griffin. So, Let's see how this goes. All right, here we go. So Mr. Peter Griffin's head, what do we see? It's pretty round, right? It's pretty round, it's almost like an oval. Uh, and if you break it down a little further, this part right here is almost perfect circle. If you were to do this, follow this all the way around, you'd have a perfect circle, right? Comes right back to this. So you can see this is almost two parts. One way to approach, this, approach the head is that, that this is almost a circle, okay? Or it could be a circle. And within that circle, you have his mouth, his lips, his nose, his eyes, right? Part of his hairline and his ear. So like this, again, right? If I was to do that. And then this part, then the second part, which is more of an oval part, like an egg. His, his face, this part of his face is almost like an egg. And then there's a sh he's got his shirt underneath. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to draw this top of his, of his head first as a circle. So I'm going to start right about here. And... Nice and lightly, I'm going to go around and I'm going to create a circle. Keeping it really light at first. Okay, so here's my circle. If I do this and I bring it over here, so that's about the size of where that circle is, like this. It goes every, like right in here. All right, there's my circle. Nice and light. I'm going to leave that like that for now. So then here, this circle goes down like this. This part here attaches to about right in here. And I'll bring this, bring it down. All right, it drops off, comes down, straight down to about right there. Right other side, same thing over here. Right over here, pause to kind of do it like this. That part of his head drops down. Probably went over to the side a little too close, but that's okay. What did I say about pencils? 
Pencil marks to keep them light and you can come in any race, no problem. All right, so I drop them down, the back of his head drops down to about right there. All right, so simplified, what do we have right now? We have the outside of his head like this, come over. These lines, we're not worried about them right now. I will eventually erase them. Okay, so now what about his neckline? His neckline starts about right there, and then it comes over on the other side about right there. All right, so maybe I can mark off my two points, and from there, I'll bring this neckline down to about there. That's this line here. I'll bring this line like this across and then down. From there, we draw the the line of the inside of the shirt here, this guy here, this here, comes out like that, all right? So what do we have? We have his, we now have his collar, all right? And then you've got this line for his shoulder, and I can start that since his collar's here, his collar would be about right here. That shoulder line is probably about right there, all right? That's this here. Now we got the other shoulder line on the other side, and we can draw this one about right here. I'm keeping everything really loose, really subtle right now i'm just creating the outside lines for the shape the outer shape of the entire drawing all right it gives me proportion i'm working on proportion placement and things like that all right so what do we have then we've got his collar line we've got his shoulders we've got the front of his face the back of his face back of his head sorry and then the top of his head all right so let's continue on. What am I going to do next? I'm going to start adding some of the detail on the inside. I'm going to add this little part of the top of his head. His hairline goes all the way back. His hairline probably goes to here. That's this. So I can mark that off if I want. And then his hairline at the front is about right there. So now I'm going to connect the two. So that's this. I'm going to bring this back. Again, I'm keeping the things kind of light so I can erase if I need to. So that here goes like this. From there, I'm going to drop down right here. Okay, there we go. All right, and then from there, from here, we go back. Hairline, back, down, over. His ear would go right here, so I can erase a little spot for that. We can leave that open for his ear. So now, from the top, from here, from the front of his hair, this little point right here, we're going to go back over the top of our circle, right? Because that's what we created for that top of his head. And then we make an adjustment a little bit, comes down and behind all of that here, okay? All right, slowly, okay, we work this slowly. From there, we can actually connect this to this line. So this will connect to this. Sorry if I block some of what I'm doing, I'm trying not to do that, but I know sometimes I do it and it's a little tricky to avoid it. All right, I'm just going to straighten this out a little bit. Got a little wobbly there. Yeah, it's hard for me to do it without blocking the camera. All right, that'll do for now. So we got this line that comes across over the top to the front of his hairline. All right, now we can darken this a little bit. Down, back, and then back up. Look at that. Cool. Let's go with this eyeball. This eyeball right here, which is about right here. Okay, there's a little space between the eyeball and the top of his hair. So here's the top of his hair. Here's where we're going to outline just lightly the top of that, out, out, that eyeball. And what is the eyeball? It's a big circle. So I can actually create the whole eyeball lightly, even though I know the bottom part is covered up by the nose, I will still create this, the, the circle because I know that the that it's a circle and it's easier for me to uh, to see it that way. I'm looking at this now and I realize that this eye is a little too small in comparison to that one, so we're going to increase the size a bit. Watch what I do with this hand. To stabilize my, my drawing hand whenever I need some stability, I'll put this hand on the canvas or on the table if you're drawing. Uh, find a surface where you can place your hand you're not drawing with, you create a little bridge and then the hand that you're drawing with can sit right on top of it. Now I, can, I got a little stable place to put my hand and I can make steadier lines. Okay, my, hand don't, my, my hands don't shake as much. 
So there's his eyeball, this eyeball right there. Let's go to his eyeball in the back. That eyeball is about right here. Okay, it starts about right here. So I'll do it lightly again. Nice and light. All right, there we go. I think this eye, this eye is a little bit bigger than this one, and it looks to be that way on here as well. So I'm going to leave it like that. Just a, This one's just a little bit bigger, all right? And then the next thing, here's what I notice now, that this, his hairline, okay, this little curve right here, this part right here, this curve, should be right over his eye, right? So now I can make an adjustment. This curved part right here comes really close to his right eye. So there we go. All right. Drawing is about making adjustments as you go. Art in general. As you're going, as you're creating, you can go back and make adjustments to make whatever it is, the likeness of whatever it is you're trying to draw closer to the original. All right. So what about his glasses, right? So he's actually wearing glasses. These aren't, these aren't eyeballs. These are the outside of his, uh, his, uh, the frames of his glasses. So we got that little, little bridge of his nose part right between the glasses. There we go. There we go. Cool. Now, what else can we do? I can also adjust his hairline. So this part right here is a little too far, too far back, a little too far back. So this part's a little closer to his head, to his, uh, to his glasses. So I can kind of do this. Bring it forward a little bit more, bring it a little closer to his glasses, and now I go back like that, all right? I'm not looking to make this exactly like this. Um, if I wanted to do that, I would really take my time and slowly adjust, 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 and it looked almost identical. You can do that, it can be done, all freehand, but it is about making adjustments. Right now, we're just trying to create a pretty close likeness to the original, a quick kind of sketching process where you can pretty quickly draw something that's in front of you, all right? So here we go, what's next? Might as well draw this part of his glasses, all right? This guy back here goes back and it's gonna sit behind his ear. We don't have his ear there yet, so I'm just gonna stop about right there. We can also do his, oh, the front, the front of his forehead, a little tiny line right here, right above his eye, his eye right there, for his glasses, okay? All right, so what's next? Let's do his nose. What's his nose? It's almost like a big oval, right? Like a, or, or an egg on its side, like this. If you were to complete this out like this, it'd be an egg, right? So that's what we'll do. So what I can do is I'll just come in and lightly. I'm starting with this part. And I'm going, I know I have this line here for the front, his, his first eyeball or his glasses, right? I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm just gonna come in and lightly color in my nose, draw in my nose. I make sure it's big enough to match on the original. Nice and light. All right. Now I can come in. Whoops. And erase this guy right here. There we go. Cool. Now that I've got all this, I'm going to go ahead and come in and erase these lines from that very first circle we created. All right. And because they're really light, it's really easy to take these off. All right. So now what do we got? We got his nose, we got his glasses, we got his hair, we got his forehead. The next thing we can do is his smile. Well, smile drops down about half an inch, if that, this part here. We're gonna focus on this line here first. Comes forward, down, and back. All right, it ends up somewhere about right here. So we can actually even mark that spot. That's where that smile ends up, all right? So here, come forward, Come down, and then and I'm using my hand here. I put it on the table, stabilizing my my drawing hand. Easier to make my lines. There we go. And if I need to, again, I can adjust it. This probably would need to go further, a little further back to match that one. So let's go ahead and do it. Might as well. Erase that. I'm gonna bring that back a little bit, and about right there. I'm drawing this from a slight angle I'm over to the left of it a little bit so um, my perspective is just a little bit different normally I'd be right in front of it it's easier to see uh, exact perspective between the two but I'm off at an angle a little bit so it is a little bit trickier but anyhow 
no big deal. So now the bottom of his bottom of his mouth, his bottom lip, right? And it comes down, comes to the left, down, back to his chin, and his chin. What is his chin? Well, it looks like you could have you could have um, <laughs> a couple of cherries. How's that? A cherry and then another cherry, all right? And you'd have your little stems. If you can imagine two little cherries with stems. So yeah, that's what we're gonna be, that's what we can envision that as. And then uh, we, so anyway, let's go for, let's go right here. So we're gonna start with this line right here, come across and down a little bit, all right? That's this part here. And then from there, angle it back and down. Again, we're keeping it nice and light, right? And then of course we do our, we do our two little part cherries like that and then like that all right and if i need to let's make some adjustments and i do need to i push this back a little too far probably not anything that's gonna kill the drawing right it's not gonna it's gonna look like peter griffin regardless of whether i make this change or not but because I want it to be a little, you know, I want it to be as close as I can make it to that freehand and kind of quick style, but enough, you know, enough um, similarity, as much similarity as I can get, similarity as I can get. So there we go, over there, and then again, our two little cherries. All right, cool, there's that. Now I'm going to adjust this right here, this line right here. Looks like I need to create a little bit more, comes up a little higher, right? It's a little bit higher up on the eyeball than this original line. So about here, and it comes out a little further, a little straighter this way across, and then it begins to drop. Okay. And then I come in here and erase this one. Just like that. Okay. Since we're here, we can adjust the collar. This collar right here needs to come out to here, like this. Actually, we'll do it from here. Down, across. And then might as well create the outside of his collar. Down. Down like this. Over. And then this part comes over like that. Got his little button. Let's go right here. Let's fix the shoulder. All right. And then we could go under part of his arm, about right here. Pretty basic little curved line. Then over here, the outside of his collar, we'll start with that. His collar's here, goes out drops down, comes across. So I'm going to stop here for a moment. I'm going to draw this line first. So I know where, so I, I'm going to draw this line first so that I know where this line is going to stop. So here I go across and down. There we go. And now I connect this line. You guys notice my, my line, my drawing line, my lines, my uh, line work is pretty loose. I'm not trying to make every line perfect the very first time I put it down, right? I'm not sitting there going, Ooh, it's going to be so perfect, right? I'm just doing light lines. I keep my, I even hold my pencil further back uh, on towards the end uh, instead of holding it up close like this. Sure, if I want to get really detailed and really precise in my line work, I can do this, right? Um, but for the purpose of this tutorial, one, you're not going to, it's going to be difficult for you to see much of my lines. Um, but I usually don't do this until I'm starting, I start to refine a little bit. My first line work is always really loose and then I'll go in and make adjustments. For example, here on his head, I can see that we probably went a little too high than in comparison to the original. So I'm going to adjust this. And then the back of his, so the back, this here needs to be a little more rounded. Uh, I'm gonna bring this forward a little bit as well, just a little bit to give us a little room to make that roundness. But this line, this entire line in the back of his head, 
is a little rounder on the original. It makes him look like he's a little, you know, he's a little heavier. He looked a little slimmer on my on my drawing than on the on the original actual um, piece over here. So I bring this down, and then again, I want to keep this round. So I'm going to. Here's where I might block some of what I'm doing, and I apologize, but I'm going to come across, make this a little bit rounder. There we go. There we go. That's more what I'm looking looking for. A little rounder. Right there we go. I'm talking about this here. All right. So what do we need? His ear. I can't forget his ear. His little ears, kind of a again, kind of an oval, slight oval shape. There we go. That's the outside of his ear. We can do the inside of his ear. All right. There we go. Like that. Oh, what about his eye? His eye. Um, his eyebrows. So we got this one here. Comes across. Then let's do that one, which is right about right here. Okay. His eyes, pupils of his eyes, right in the very center, right in the very center of these circles. One there, and then the other one's right above his nose. There's that. Are we missing anything? So I've got my drawing pretty much complete. Now I can look at it. I'm going to turn this a little bit towards me so I can get a better look. And But I'm going to try to keep it within view here. So I'll look at it now and make little adjustments where I need. So these little lines here, that all these extra lines that I don't need, I can fix them. I can come in and draw, uh, touch them up. Um, you know, again, it depends on how, much per how perfect I want this to, to be. How close do I want it to look like the original? And that's all up to you. I mean, if you're, this is pretty close already. If you're here at this stage and you're happy with it, then you're done, right? But for those of you the little more perfectionists out there, um, and I am as well, I like to go in there and write, try to make things look like as much as the original as I possibly can. So I would come in and simply start touching things up. So right here, this line here, we'll clean that up a little bit. And now I'm coming up close on my pencil towards the tip of the point, tip of the pencil, right to where the point is. And then I'll use my finger here I'll t I'll, or, or my hand. I'll put it up against the canvas like this. Now it gives me more stability. There we go. Like that. I can further refine this line as well. Same thing. I'll come in and uh, do that. All right. Now, do, does this need to be touched up at all? I think it does. It needs to come up a little bit and over to the left a little bit more. So let's go ahead and do that. And then this line also needs to come in. Actually, this needs to come in a little bit more, a little further in, right? Um, this needs to come up a little bit. I don't worry about the smudge marks. I can clean those up a little bit. I try to make as, as few of those as I, as I can, but if I have some, I will come in and clean them up. So out. And then down. There we go. All right. I'm going to do this. All right. And so again, this, I'm going to bring this over. I'm going to bring this over just a little bit. Got a little too far over to the center. Adjustments like this do make a big difference. Even if it's just, you know, small change, it does make an overall difference. And again, all these little steps aren't necessary if you're happy with what you've ended up with. But if you want to further refine, this is how the process works. All right, so here, and then this part here is actually going to be about right here. Okay, that's where that's going to end up. So I just bring that down and to there. All right, now I do my little cherries. And then over and over. There we go. Yeah, I like this better. Okay. There we go. What else? Well, now I can go in and further, like I said, further refine things, further um, tighten things up if I want. What I'm going to do next is actually outline um, outline the piece in my with my marker. So let me just touch this up a little bit more. And... All right, here we go. So I got my, 
got myself a little black marker right here. I am going to uh, turn this back so you guys can see this a little bit better. There we go. Okay, and we're going to start at the top of his head, actually in front of his hairline. We're going to go back. Just like that. We're going to bring the... Uh, there we go. Back. Down on that. There we go. Okay. We got his ear. Full circle. Okay, just like that. All right, we got, I'm going to bring this over a little bit and hold this in, in uh, against my chest because this is... Again, it's tricky and I want you guys to see it, but I, I can't uh, get right in front of it without blocking you. So I'm going to do this from here and try to make this line as stable as I can. There we go. All right, that wasn't too bad. Okay, so now a little uh, line in front of his forehead. This line right here, this guy here. Draw that little line just like that. His eyeballs. All right, other eyeball. Or rooms of his glasses, because I think that's what these guys are, they're the rooms of his glasses. So there's that little bridge over the nose for his glasses. He has an actual nose. Okay, the pupils of his eyes. Let's get those pupils in there. And have the rest of his glasses and they connect to the back of his ear, right? They go hide behind the ear. Might as well do his little eyebrows. All right. Now, let's do his cheek. This guy right here. His jowl comes over, down, boom. Peter Griffin started to look like Peter Griffin. I'm gonna come in, mouth, come over, back, his bottom lip, down to his chin. Whoop, the other line could be a little straighter. I just messed that up, it's all right. His chin. All right, maybe I can adjust this a bit. Yeah, make it a little thicker, but that's okay. Okay, now his collar. This, don't forget that line, come to the back of the collar, whoops down, connect that to that. Shoulder in the back, front of his left collar, Ooh, I smooth that out. Okay. Over here like this. And then this guy comes down. Again, this, this is a little tricky. I gotta get a better angle or else I'm gonna make that same little fudge that I made at the top. Okay, there we go. Back of his shoulder, under his arm, and his button. Are we missing anything? We are missing this little shady part back there, which I'm going to do in a pencil here in a moment. Okay. But uh, there is the outline. Peter Griffin. Okay. Oh, and I can also even come in and darken up his hair if I want. All right. Maybe, maybe I'll do that. We'll see here in a sec. But let me take my pencil first, and I'm going to draw this little shady, shady part back here. So there's a shade line that runs down, actually, over the top of his head, comes down the back of his head, and then down that part. So that gives it a little depth. Gives this gives uh, Peter... Uh, um, it makes him look a little rounder, right? A little, just a little bit. So I'm actually going to draw the out, the front line first. So I'll do this. The front of the shadow first. Front, you know, front edge of the shadow. Okay, like this. Drops to right here. And then the shadow goes over the collar. Round it a little bit towards the, and towards the back. And then it goes like that. All right. Now I'm going to come in here. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use my pencil to darken this up in here like this. Okay, like that, like that, like that. And now watch. Actually, I'm gonna bring this. I won't do that part just yet. Now watch, I'm gonna use my finger here to smudge it up. All right, there's that, sh there's the shadow on the back of his head, on the back of his head. Now. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna darken this up in here. His whole all of his hair is gonna be nice and dark. The 
this is actually pretty dark, right? Peter Griffin has black hair, I think it is. It's got black hair, pretty sure, or dark brown. Anyhow, correct me in the comments below. That's what I remember of Peter Griffin. If I'm wrong, let me know. So Jesse, no, he has blonde hair. No, I'm kidding, I don't think he has blonde hair. So I'm just gonna darken this up by, or even it out a little bit using my finger. But I do want to make a darker shadow in here, right? Because this shadow, this right here, comes up over into his hair. It's right here. It goes all the way like this. It connects to that one. So in his hair, that shadow would be darker because his hair is his hair is already pretty dark, right? So I'm just doing that. And I will come in with my finger and do that. Just like that. It's probably kind of subtle on there. Maybe you can't see it very well, but it is there. All right. So what do you guys think? Do you guys want me to paint Peter Griffin? Let me know uh, if you want me to do a little tutorial on painting this guy. So I got them all nice and drawn out. Um, and then if you know, if you want, for those of you at home, if you've got colored pencils, um, I have acrylic paint here. Um, you guys got watercolors, markers, crayons even. You can go ahead and color them in. But let me know if you want to see me do it. Okay, maybe in the next video, um, one of the next videos will be me coloring in or draw, painting Peter Griffin. All right, so here we go. And then one, one thing that I always like to tell people is sign your pieces. So somewhere on there, you want to come in and do a little, little sign. Um, your last name, your full name, your initials, whatever you want. Okay, so just kind of, you can even do a little date on there if you want. Sometimes people will date the back part. Of their, uh, of their drawing. So hold on one second, folks. Don't leave just yet. Okay, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, that was Peter Griffin. Uh, cool little tutorial request sent in by Morgan. Morgan, thank you so much once again. Um, for the rest of you that would like to see something on this channel, please send me your requests. Put them in the comment section below. And if I do uh, your request, I'll give you a little shout out on my video. Uh, so that was Peter Griffin, of course. Very cool. Lots of fun. Let me know if you guys want me to paint him next. Maybe one of the next videos will be us painting him together. Um, I'm thinking, though, that the next that the next video I'm going to be doing is the uh, Fortnite Llama. I've been getting a few little requests for that, so that's probably what we're doing next. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you guys haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. It helps me a lot to grow this, and I could really use help the channel is very new it's two, about two weeks old since uh, since i published and made it public so uh, any little help that i can get would be fantastic like the video also and um, you know share this with your friends and family if you guys think that they would benefit from coming along and creating with us once again boys and girls my name is jesse i'm your host and art instructor here on kids on art of Palooza. And I just want to thank you guys for being with me here today. I will see you guys all very soon. Hope you guys have an awesome rest of the day and rest of the week. Bye-bye.